Hey guys, what's up? Peter D here, and today on 11 Yank Soccer Rant, we are talking about Josh Sargent, with the question being, how good is he really? Now, a lot of different opinions about Josh Sargent out there. Some people say he's the future number nine of the U.S. national team. Some people say he's a complete fraud and has zero talent whatsoever, and a lot of other opinions in between. So today, we're gonna to talk about four different things that are gonna give us some perspective on just how good Josh Sargent is really. Number one, Josh Sargent is the first American striker to be playing regular minutes in a top five league in Europe at age 20. All right, some of the best American forwards of all time. Uh, Clint Dempsey was still in college at age 20. Uh, Josie Altador was in Europe playing for Villarreal, but he almost never saw the field. Very, very, very few minutes. Uh, Brian McBride, still in college. Uh, Landon Donovan was playing for uh, Bayer Leverkusen, but in the third division. He was playing with their second team. He wasn't playing in a top five league. All right, so a lot of these guys who were playing there weren't doing it at age 20. Josh is getting consistent regular minutes for Werder Bremen. And that is to his credit. Number two, Josh's goal scoring and assisting stats so far for Werder Bremen aren't that great. In fact, in just under 1,600 minutes for Bremen, Josh Sargent has five goals and two assists. So not great numbers. The question is, should that tell us everything we need to know about who he is as a forward? The reality is, Werder Bremen has not been a great team for the past year and a half, which is how long Josh Sargent has been playing for them. Uh, he gets very little service uh, from his midfield. They struggle to create opportunities, and so that probably affects his ability to get goals and assists up. Now, if Josh was playing for a Borussia Dortmund, or for even a better club in Germany, say like a Bayer Leverkusen or a Wolfsburg, his stats would probably be higher. But that doesn't tell us the whole picture of who Josh Sargent is really. All right, so we have some more stats for Josh Sargent here, and this is point number three. Goals and assists are always going to matter, particularly for a forward, because that's their main job, right? So go scoring goals, assisting goals. But there's more to the game than that, especially for the modern forward. And this is some stats from Josh Sargent's season for 1920 that I think are important to look at, okay? He's played... Uh, 1,284 minutes. In that time, he was fouled 35 times, or roughly every 34 minutes. That's really important, okay? Because if Josh Sargent wasn't being a threat, teams wouldn't see the need to foul him as much as they do, all right? That's about three fouls per game, okay? Uh, 14 successful dribbles, okay? And 10 key passes. So those stats are probably not amazing but they're not terrible either he's doing a job he's getting involved in the attack he's creating opportunities he's doing what a striker is supposed to do okay but more interesting to me and this is especially true because word of bremen is a, is a defensive team he has been doing a lot of pressing and you see that on the eye test you see that when you're watching the games he's pressing the ball constantly harassing the back line the goalkeeper the midfielders 333 times right here that's 23 times per 90 minutes. He also has 23 clearances, 21 blocks, and 11 interceptions of the ball. So for a striker, these numbers are very, very high. You see him back there when they're defending corners. He's often the guy clearing them. You see him getting back behind the ball into a block. He's doing a lot of hard work for the team, which is what you want out of a forward because forward's form can go up and down. Okay, you have moments where you're on fire and goals are just going in, bang, 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 and then there's times where you're going through a bit of a drought. Maybe your team's not getting you the ball, maybe you're suffering a dip in form or confidence, but there are still things you can control when you're not doing well in front of goal. And your work rate uh, and your team play and your defensive work, that matters a lot. And that's gonna matter a lot for Josh when we come to CONCACAF and we have to grind out results on the road in World Cup qualifying in places like Panama or Honduras or even Canada. So these numbers, these stats, give me hope with Josh that he is going to come good. So that's it for now, guys. But one last thought before you go. Josh Sargent may never become a world-class Champions League level forward. He may not. He may or he may not. We just don't know. But even if he doesn't, if Josh Sargent can become a regular 10 goals a season striker 
for a top five league at any club in a top five league, he will be still be the best American to ever play the game in his position. That's it for now, guys. I'll see you next week on 11 Yank Soccer Rant. Have a good one.